Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I'll be reading The Remarried Empress episode 180. I am getting ready to head out. It's 7.30 a.m. right now. So I'm gonna read this real quick, edit, post it, and then I have a lot of other reads that I need to edit and I will post it out for the rest of this week. So stay tuned for those. I did read I Love You, a couple episodes of that. Um, what else I read? Uh, no, I didn't read I'm the Queen in This Life, but I probably will. Down to Earth, I did do. I'm up up to date for that. And what's the other one I read? Oh, my in-laws are obsessed with me. So that's going to be this week. If it's going to... I don't know if I'm going to add in Purple Hyacinth, but if I have time, my sister is staying over and she's staying in this room. So not sure if I'm able to come in and just record, but let's go ahead and get started. My hair is everywhere. I'm probably going to put this up. Um, okay. Alright, let's go. A marriage between royals? With who? There is only one person who fits the age and status for a royal marriage with the princess. Surely she isn't talking about... Henry? If Her Majesty allows it, I wish to marry His Majesty's brother-in-law, Lord Cosair. Whew! <laughs> oh, okay. I'm okay with that, but let's see how Cosair feels about it. The Remarried Empress, Episode 180. After meeting with the delegation. Wow, I was quite surprised earlier. Were you really? It didn't seem that way. Yes, you had this very angry expression on your face. Well, <clears throat> she wanted a royal marriage when there were no suitable candidates. McKenna was born out of wedlock and I didn't even think of my brother. Hmm. Oh, is that really all? He is teasing her, don't you? <clears throat> is it my queen? This sly fox, as adorable as he might be, when he puts on that charm, I can't admit that I was nervous about the possibility of her proposing marriage to him. When did it happen? I promised myself that I wouldn't fully embrace his love and that I'd love him only enough that I would remain strong even if he, he hurts me. When did he embed himself so deeply into my heart? He's as radiant as a summer day at noon. Does he know how I feel? <laughs> Rest assured. I would never let my brother-in-law be forced into a marriage he doesn't want. <laughs> he hasn't noticed. <laughs> Her face. <laughs> Sometimes you are perceptive. Other times, not at all. Pardon? I don't mean to brag, but I'm very perceptive. <laughs> if you heard, from, heard that from somebody else, you'd be wise to doubt anything else they say in the future. You once told me the same thing. I am an exception. Always. <laughs> yes, forever and always, my queen. I, I'm an exception because you love me, and you are an exception to me too. Huh? My queen, are you implying... My queen? My queen! <laughs> that was so cute. You certainly took your time, your majesty. There's a mountain of work awaiting you today as well. <laughs> What's with the look on your face? I am a man who is loved, McKenna. I beg your pardon? I'm loved. When my child is born, they'll ask. <laughs> the old school art right here is so beautiful. 
Papa, Papa, why did you marry Mama? And I'll reply, because your father loves your mother, and your mother loves your father too. <laughs> Pure disgust. But I was fortunate, my children. You, on the other hand, won't be able to marry for love. Uh, hey, McKenna! When will you settle down? You need to marry to understand how I feel. You're terribly unromantic. Will be an arranged marriage anyway. On another note, Duke Zemencia's family has been making a commotion lately. It appears opinions are divided over what happened during the birthday banquet. <laughs> the elder Duke will burn himself up with anger. All we need to do is add some firewood now and then. I won't hear such a foolishness. There is nothing to be gained by distancing ourselves from the royal family. You must let the past, let go of the past and look to the future. You mean the future we secured at the cost of your sister's life? You would have us ally with the enemy for that? I won't do it. I refuse. If that's the nonsense you're going with, then leave this house. Now. The elder Duke Zemencia cast out his son, his son's wife, and their children. The, uh, the Duke demanded they leave behind everything Lady Krista had acquired for them. So they were forced to leave with nothing. Uh, after all the trouble they caused for his, maj his and her majesty, it seems they are bringing about their own downfall. So there was a conflict within the family. I did have- wait, was this from her? So there was a conflict within the family. I did notice they had been quiet for a while. They did it to themselves. Never mind that. I'm worried about master. I'm worried about masters. She looks out of sorts these days. I told. I totally forgot. Masters has a huge crush on Corsair. Hmm. Miss Masters. Yes. Is something wrong? You look dispirited. Oh, it's nothing, Your Majesty. Nothing's wrong. That's not true. You've been like that ever since the delegation from White Mond arrived. Oh, could it be that you're unhappy because Princess Charlotte wants to marry Lord Cosair? <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? <laughs> I'm not interested in anyone unless they're strong. Lord Corsair is a delicate and pure. Cosair? Lord Cosair is... Delicate? Peer? Miss Masters, do you... Huh? I was planning to ask if she was has romantic feelings for my brother, but she left. Is something wrong, my queen? I saw Masters fleeing in a hurry. Oh, Henry. Your Majesty. What's that? I received a signal that someone here has a craving for this. Ta-da! I do like this dish, but I never sent a signal. The little one did. The little one did. Oh my gosh. Here, pass this kiss to the baby for me. Oh. But keep this one for yourself. It's for you. It's so cute. Meanwhile, in the Eastern Empire, the temple where the par parentage test will be conducted. Parentage test. I just have to get through today. His Majesty and the nobles will continue to attack me. But I just need to tough it out for a few years and Glorin will save me. Then maybe Duke Ergi will come to rescue me. Just as Emperor Henry did for the former Empress. Is that what she's hoping? She is... 
Okay. Glorium is most definitely His Majesty's daughter. I won't let this break me. Okay. First off. Wow. Navier and Henry, their, their love for each other is very sweet. And I really, really hope. I really hope it's not an act from Henry. You know. I don't know. Oh, it's just gonna make me sad. But I hope it's genuine and real. And because you know, you never know. He's such a good actor. Because we've seen him go from like this happy, giddy person to like this pure dark. So yeah. But it's kind of cute how they talk and tease each other. And it's it's nice to see that Navier let down her guard for him, you know? Um, but okay, so now we're at the place where they're going to do the parentage test uh, for Glorium. And Rashta is very certain that this baby is, you know, her his majesty. Uh, so they choose baby. But I wonder what's going to happen now, you know, what's going to happen next? Anyways, um, I do need to get ready. I do need to finish up, edit this, and head on out. If you guys enjoy the way I read and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!